Hi there, Craig Hocknell here with Sabre Golf. I'm gonna show you a great use for your Sabre. It's an excellent technique. So the Sabre is all about athletic efficiency. You add strength and speed together, and you add timing and technique together, and if you can multiply those, then you have athletic efficiency. So what we have here in the Sabre, in the technique component, is a four-sided Sabre with two distinct colors on each side. So as I take my setup in this position, I have blue on the top and blue on the left side. I have a carbon fiber black on the right and on the bottom. So as I take my setup, if I go back in my backswing and I accidentally cup my wrists under, you'll see a lot of beginner golfers do that. They'll roll their wrists under. That carbon side will be revealed to my eye line. I don't want that. As I go back, I want to make sure that my thumb is still on top of the saber and that I still see blue. All right. As I go to the top of my backswing, that timing mechanism will drop into my hands. If I accidentally go too far, that will drop past. So this particular slow motion swing will help me figure out where the top of my backswing is. So if I keep my eyes on you and I just juggle my wrists back and forth, right about here, the ball is starting to move. So if I stop right there, I know the timing mechanism's in my hands, and I know I haven't overswung. Then I move slowly back through here, through impact. I peek back on the saber, because what I don't want to see too early is I don't want to see that carbon fiber side flipping over. So as I come through impact right here, I still see blue. Now if you're working on hitting a draw right here, go ahead and roll it through so that you can see that carbon fiber side. If you're actually working on hitting a fade, as you release it, you're going to release your wrists underneath and see more of the blue. So, as you can tell, just by using those two colors on the saber and moving extremely slowly, you can feel so many great places in your entire swing. So, that's a great technique for understanding face position and club length as well as that dynamic release through impact.